I have uh, more than once in my life been accused of having a Pollyanna approach toward life, mostly by people that don't know me very well. Uh, by the way, if you've not seen the movie Pollyanna, I highly recommend it. Uh, you're missing out on a great family experience if you haven't seen, seen it. I'm sure that there were many in the crowds who watched Christians in the early church going to their deaths and imprisonment who thought to themselves, what do they have to be joyful about? And yet, for those that love the Lord and believe in his promises, it's not really that much of a mystery. I rejoice in the Lord because I'm a Christian, a child of God, an inheritor of the greatest heritage ever known to man, a home in heaven and an eternal life with God and the saved of all time. I demonstrate a gentle spirit that is evident to everyone I meet because I'm a Christian. And I have a big brother who showed me the way, whose name is Jesus. I'm never anxious about the future because I'm a Christian. And I have a Father in heaven who listens to my prayers and responds to my requests with love and consideration of what is best for me. I have a peace that is incomprehensible to those of this world because I'm a Christian. And my Savior and King Jesus Christ stands at the gate of my mind and my heart, ready to stand arm in arm with me against Satan's temptations. When Paul wrote his letter to the Christians in Philippi, and you may have recognized chapter 4, when he wrote it through the Holy Spirit, he provided every person a pattern of behavior and attitude to follow that unlocks the mystery that is so baffling to those of this world. And that mystery is how can you find joy and peace of mind in everything that you do? Well, friends, it starts with becoming a Christian. This decision is the most important decision that you will ever make by far. The plan of salvation is simple, but it is not negotiable with God. The plan starts with hearing the word of God and his plan of salvation and believing that Jesus, the son of God, came to earth, became the perfect sacrifice for sin, was crucified, rose on the third day, and as a result, paid the price for our sins if we will only obey him. The plan asks us to respond to the grace which God has shown us by repenting of our sins, confessing that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and then being immersed in water for the remission of our sins. The God-commanded action that puts you in contact with the blood of Christ, which is the only thing that can wash away your sins. God then adds you to the church of his son, Jesus Christ, and adopts you as a child of God with the great inher eternal inheritance that's waiting for us if we are faithful unto death. Now, if you're here tonight and you haven't become a child of God, I highly recommend it. It's a great way to live. And it's a great way to die because guess what? You don't. You don't. Now, if you've taken this step and you've become a Christian, but you're missing out on the joy and the peace of mind that God promises you, it's not because the plan isn't working for you. The plan works. It's you're not working the plan. So if it's a private matter, it's something you need to take care of just between you and God. You can restore your relationship with God through repentance and prayer in private. However, if it's something of a public nature that you should repent of, something that maybe brings reproach upon the church, and that you need to make that right because you're a child of God and you represent God, and you want to glorify God in everything that you do, then you should repent and also ask for the prayers of the brethren. Come forward and, and 
make that good confession. Whatever your needs are, if there's something that we can help you with tonight, get your relationship with God right so that when you put your head on the pillow tonight, you can have the peace of mind that surpasses all understanding. If you would, if you need, need something, please come forward while we stand and sing.